All right, in this ROS2 TF2 tutorial, we will see how to create a new frame called caret and make the turtle follow the caret frame. So we will go over some Python references, talk about the learning TF2 package, review the TF2 fix broadcaster and dynamic broadcaster, review the launch files, modify the setup.py, build the package, run the fixed and dynamic frame examples. So by the end of this video, we will see this simulation where this turtle is following a carrot frame that's moving around. So if you're new to Python, I have some Python references here. You could check out my Python playlist. I also have videos on Python class, Python inheritance, and if name is main. So go check it out if you need more reference. So in this folder, we have the TF2 package called the learning TF2 pi package, which we will be using in our lesson. So inside of my gits, I already made the package. You could go ahead and copy that package and move it to your ROS2 workspace. So inside of here, we have our fixed broadcaster and dynamic broadcaster files. So let's go ahead and take a look at those source files to understand what it's doing. So I go ahead and open that up inside our learning tf2py. We see that we have our file here, the fixed frame tf2 broadcaster. So if we take a look at this, we'll see what's going on. So inside of this file, we have, we're importing the libraries that we need. So we have some geometry messages, our rclpy and our rclpy.node and our transform broadcaster, okay? so. You can see that in our main function where we have a init here, and then we have the fixed frame broadcaster, and then here we have our spin and then shutdown. So our main thing is our fixed frame broadcaster. So if we take a look inside, you see that we're inheriting from the node class. And when we make our constructor here, we have to give it a name called the fixed frame TF2 broadcaster. And then by using the transform broadcaster, we're going to store our TF broadcaster as a variable here. And then we also have a timer. So we create a timer and then we have a callback. So our callback is what's going to run at every time it uh, does a function call. So inside of here, we have a transform stamped called T. So this T has different properties. We have a stamp, frame ID, a frame ID for the child. So we have turtle one and carrot one. And we also have some translation XYZ properties and rotation for the quaternion. And then here we will finally send the transform and that will get the information to the turtle. Now we have our dynamic frame broadcaster. So this is very similar except a little bit different. So here we have our dynamic frame broadcaster. So inside of our function here, we have inherit a node class and we are then creating our constructor here by using the transform broadcaster. And we have a timer here by using the create timer. So inside the uh, create timer, we run the broadcast timer callback. So we get the time using the clock. And then we do some math for the x. So we do seconds time pi. It's just some way of um, setting our position based off of the time, just so it keeps moving. And then here we have our time using the transform stamped. And then inside of here, we set our frame ID for um, turtle one and also a child's frame ID for carrot one. Then we do some math uh, using sines and cosines to compute the X and Y position. Z is zero because it's in the plane. And then we have some uh, constant rotation here. And finally, we do the send transform, which will send the information of the new transforms. Now let's take a look at our launch files. So for our launch files, we will have one launch file to launch our fixed frame TF2 broadcaster. So you can see here we have our typical launch structure, which we have a generate launch description. And inside of here, we have a demo nodes. So this demo nodes will call our turtle TF2 demo.launch.py. And then inside of here, what we're going to do is run our demo nodes, and then we're going to run one more node, which is the fixed frame broadcaster. And for our dynamic frame uh, launch file, it's going to be very similar. So we have this turtle tf2 demo launch.py. 
which we're calling demo nodes. So we were going to launch that uh, node. And then finally, we're going to launch our dynamic frame TF2 broadcaster. Next up, we want to modify our setup.py file. So for this, the things that we've added are these two main functions here, one for the fixed frame and one for the dynamic frame broadcaster. So now that we have everything ready, we could go ahead and build our package using the Colcom build packages select learning TF2Py. So now we could go ahead and run our fixed and dynamic frame example. So we will start off with the fixed frame example. So I've already sourced my uh, setup. So I'm gonna just go ahead and run this launch file. So this will see our fixed frame example. So what this means is there's gonna be some frame and the turtle is gonna try to approach that frame. And then once it reaches there, it's going to stop. Okay, so that's what the fixed frame example is doing. And then you can also do this in a launch file, which is shown here. But here we're just running it in our command line. So we can also go ahead and run our dynamic frame example. So for that one, we're going to run the launch uh, ROS2 launch and the dynamic one. So this one is going to be a frame that's moving. And then the turtle is going to try to keep following that frame that's moving. So that's why we see this turtle is continuous moving in some loop shapes based off of the math that we calculated. In my next video, I'm going to talk about the TF2 time travel with Python. So that will be a demo where a turtle is following another turtle. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.